Passing it around inside their half, then Skews goes more ambitiously out to the left. Oh, fabulous ball to Judge. Wide left now inside the area. Jinks it back. Judge has still got the ball. Then he plays it into the middle, looking for Jackson. Headed away by Riderhals. Chested down by Downs, who shoots but gets right underneath it. And it loops over the bar for a goal kick. Yeah. Ipswich get the rub of the green in midfield, but then Downs can't make the most of it. The ball breaks loose for Downs, for Tranmere, shooting from outside the area, trying to pick his spot from 22, 23 yards, the top corner of Holy's net, but he missed the target. 3 0 down in the midfield. Vincent Young running forward with a step over edge of the area, giving it to Judge just outside the D. Shoots blocked away off a white shirt. Looks like a handball by Mullen. Very cheap one to give away, he's protesting to the referee, but the referee was in a good position. It's nil-nil, 30 yards from the Tranmere goal, it's Garber who gets it up. Oh, what a goal! That is a fabulous strike from Luke Garbert. I'm sure he wasn't brought here on loan to score goals, but he just can't stop doing it. It's the player from Everton who puts Ipswich down 1-0 up against Tranmere Rovers. Left-footed knocks it long, trying to get Mullen on his bike. Chambers brings it down, poor touch from the captain. Mullen in field, Skews is still there. He goes away from Wilson, it is. Mullen back to goal, then Payne, edge of the Ipswich area. Pulls it back, Dans controls the touch, then out to the right-hand side, Tan under pressure, Caprice inside the area, step over, plays it in low, missed by Holy, and it's a goal for Tranmere. Outside the box, it's run away by Payne, Vincent Young should get possession, but he's sived down by Payne. In the 48th minute, it's going to be Garbutt to go for goal, it's along the floor, straight at Davis, he's spilt it, might be a chance for Jackson! 2-1 Ipswich! Two and a half minutes into the second half, Ipswich Town regained the lead, Caden Jackson's fifth of the season. He was a sharp shooter there. He pounced on the spillage from Davis. Superb from the goal scorer. Given away by Tranmere. Here come Ipswich Town. It's the former Tranmere man, Norwood, leading the charge. And he scores against his former club. He gives it into the box. A chance for Ipswich Town. Oh, spilled by the goalkeeper again. Downs has to score. And he does. The flag's gone up, though. It won't count. He runs off to celebrate. It's still just 2-1 to Ipswich. Uh... Skews has come to join Downs in the midfield and it's freed Nolan and Judge. Nice header from Norwood, Judge forward to Jackson, he's having his shirt tug, he's beating the player, edge of the air, a chance for Jackson! Oh, he's tried to lift it over and Nolan must score! John Nolan heads it into an open net and Ipswich Town have some daylight. They now lead Tranmere Rovers by three goals to one and this is the sound of Portman Road when you're top of the league. Well, that's handy, that just proved my point there, that it, this change of system has freed uh, Nolan and uh, Judge somewhat. And and back-to-back promotions, Holy with an unorthodox kick that's picked out Vincent Young, far side, running up to the edge of the box, cutting in field, Vincent Young inside the area, it's open up, he's still got the ball, what a run! Oh, and what a goal! That was remarkable! Two goals in two from Kane Vincent Young, and that was a bit special. He ran and he ran and he ran. He had an opportunity to shoot, he ran some more, and then left-footed, fired it into the corner of the net to guarantee Ipswich Town another three points. Their lead Tranmere 4-1. We've seen two cracking goals in this game. Tranmere have a man down in Potter, Ipswich on the front foot, show no sympathy, ball to Norwood against Tranmere, inside the area, tries to lift it over the top of Davis, he can't score a one-on-one -on -one for love, no money. Garbutt with this set piece, town lead 4-1, Norwood with a free header, it's tipped over the bar from a long way out, that header came from, who checks both watches. And that is it. Happy days at Portman Road. Well, they say the league table means something after ten games. Pleasant reading at the moment as far as Ipswich Town are concerned. They are top of the pile. Seven wins and three draws, unbeaten.